Okay, here we are in something different. And something that's actually kind of not neat. But it's not with the exact cars that you would race here at Indy. But it is the 1930s version of Indy. But we got 1920 cars, Grand Prix cars, not American cars. Because I don't know any cars from that era. I don't know where they would be. But anyways, we're going to be doing 10 laps. Should only be a should be under about 20 minutes, maybe even less than under 20 minutes, probably under 15. But it just depends on how fast we can get off to start here and how fast we can get around the track without uh, wrecking or get into any inc incidents. As you can tell, I'm actually in a sunbeam, which I was getting the Delonge in a sunbeam confused and I was making them different but we got a lot of Bugattis. We got a Versan or Fasan. I think that's a Fiat right there. I think that's another Fiat right there. I think this is right here a Sunbeam. Trying to lay off to going down to turn three so we don't smack the wall like those guys behind me are about to do. Actually, that might be... That might be a... S no. That, that? No. I see a Delonge. Oh, that's the Roland. That's right. That's the Roland. We get down the straightaway. Get complete lap one in these beautiful 100-year-old cars. 101 now. Because these are 1923 cars. And it's 2024. So 101 year old cars driving around a about a hundred about nine year old track. Our version of a track is we get completely hit and we're we almost get wrecked there as one of the uh uh Rollins I think that was uh slammed into us and he went spinning in the mirror as you saw back there in turn one. Uh, so I think that is going down really close to the wall in there on the inside. Look at all the bricks. The golden age of Indy before the war. And, uh, before World War Two, and before or after World War One. One car is retired. That's probably the one car that wrecked with me there. We're in 19th. So we're still not we're still not um, up there in first. So uh, ways to go, but we still got ways to go on laps too. Get by that guy. Try to at least. Oh, we're gonna cut him off. We're gonna spin because of it. I cut off the Delonge, and now we're spinning with the Delonge. We got a couple of uh, Fiat's wrecking with us. I have a saw next to me, got the bagage behind me as we lay everyone else to catch back us up to us. So that's not that's gonna probably screw us for the win, but we at least can try stay in the top twenty. Maybe even get back the top fifteen that I had before that incident. Up on the Fiat. Try to get a run, almost getting clipped by the Bugatti, trying to make a move. As I believe there, those cars were the fastest on the straightaways, I believe. In uh, real life. Yeah, because those things are kind of tanky for the corners. I think they would be better for straight line tracks. Get down to turn one, or not turn one, turn three. <laughs> um... The next, uh, the next twenties video that I do of like twenties racing, I might try to uh, race the Versan, the Versan, I mean, um, just because I haven't shown that off. I've shown the Bugatti off. I'm pretty sure I showed the uh, the Fiat off too. If not, then I probably deleted that video or did not uh, edit and upload it. 
probably forgot to do that. We've been in uh, a couple of versions of Delonges, so we don't need a really... Yeah, Delon or Delonge. Delonge, there we go. Uh, we haven't been in a Roland yet, so we might try that too. We might try to roll in a uh, Versant next. Not a straight away. Try to gain on this Fiat in front of us. Our Sunbeam tries to uh, gain uh, gain the speed in the draft here, or the slipstream. I don't know if in real life it w or uh, back in these days it would affect you that much. Maybe the streamlined cars, like the Bugatti behind us, but I don't know. That's something that people uh, people can tell me in the comments. Uh, maybe if uh, they know that much, or they have uh, relatives that knew about this. Because I would expect there might be a little bit of traffic. I feel like any car that at least goes up to maybe 80 miles per hour has a little bit of a draft, a little bit of a pull when they get behind someone. So for something up there getting a little squirrely crossing the line. Get lap 5. Yeah, about 1 minute lap, 1 minute 30 second, or 1 minute 21 second lap time as we almost cut off the song like we did to the, the launch earlier in the race. Got another Frisson. That alien kind of looking kind of car with the little fan on the front. I wonder if that uh, generated more power. I, I've, I know a little bit of history on these cars. But uh, I'm not uh, too knowledgeable on these cars like the uh, Audi Union, the Mercedes W125. Because I, I know a lot about these cars, because those cars are like the beast of the 30s, and pretty much everyone in the 30s, or everyone that's uh, interested in the 30s, would probably know more about those cars than the ER car. Um, I did drive an Aero, AeroWorks Type B car, just give that uh, car a little bit more show on this channel. I thought I cut him off. Well, I did come off. I didn't come off too bad. As he's gonna try to make it to the inside, backs off. Works for me. Does not work for him because that makes him lose around. I might be able to actually get my top 15 back. Actually, we're in 16th right now. With about five to go. Halfway there. Down the back here, Andy. One of my favorite versions of Indy. Still wish there was a 1911 version, so maybe I can take the rental in uh, LA um, around there. Maybe make a little makeshift 1909 race or a 1911 race. Also, I've been playing a lot more Battlefield games since the, the Steam sale for the Spring Break. Or not Spring Break, Spring Sale. I've gotten... I, I uh, got in PlayStation Plus for Battlefield 2042 on my PlayStation 5. And then I, I've i had uh, Battlefield 1 for a while, but I kind of got grew bored of it. That's why I'm kind of branching out on different Battlefield games. I played Battlefield 5. I didn't really... I didn't really have fun with that game that much. It, it's a good game. It's not too bad. Um, I've been playing Battlefield 4. Uh, after this video, I'm gonna be trying to. I'm, I'm gonna be playing some Battlefield Hardline while this video is posting, and uh, getting scheduled for Monday, I think. Monday or Tuesday. Um, and also Battlefield. Battlefield 3, as Battlefield 4 might have a video coming out soon. And then... Try to play some more Lethal Company, more Reflex, so that maybe some people would stop going in the comments and be like, You suck, even though I've never 
said I was good. And if you don't think I'm good, if you think I suck, then don't watch it. It's that simple. Come down the front stretch, get behind the Bugatti. Number six there. I don't know if. I haven't really checked because I don't really pay attention to much of the 20s that much besides the cars, names, and what what they were best for. Um, I don't know like the names of the uh, drivers, so that's why I'm just referring in, referring them to model type and uh, number because it's just easier for me that way. One thing I know about the Delange is they use, I believe they use the same type of Delange to, for a blueprint for the Delange 15, 15, or no, I think it's 1S, 8B, I think it was. And then for the uh, Dick Seaman Special. Get a little tire squeal there in turn four. Trying to cut it under this Fiat, this blue Fiat. Race him, get really close to each other. Maybe in real life you wouldn't want to do that because it might uh, miss Q and hit each other and wreck real bad. As we got two to go now, we'll get a little lag down the straightaway and we're almost going to hit because of it. But we keep our distance, he slots in behind me during. Or third turn one. That car up there almost hitting the wall on the exit there. Come down and back. Come under the bridge. I wonder how long that bridge was there for in Indy, because I know it was there, I believe, during the 40s too. Um, maybe it was tear down during the 50s, but I believe that's the Fiat trying to get back on the inside. We're going to bounce off the wall, try not to spin because of it. We keep it straight, so that's good. We keep our top 15 still because of it. We might be able to get a top 10 depending on how fast it can get through these guys who come into this last lap. Come off the floor here, and then come down to the finish, come down to the finish line like the last lap in this 10 lapper as the Lear already passed the line got the final lap now we just gotta get in the toe and just yank ourselves up there to get a top 10 so we're about we're pretty much red lighting red lining down the straightaway there coming to turn one <laughs> kinda ripping the cushion there I don't know if the white surface there is uh, concrete or not could be part uh, brick, but I'm not, I'm not completely sure. But we are coming up on the Fiat as we uh, pass. I believe that was a Delange or a Fiat that I just passed to get 11th. I wasn't paying attention to that car. But we are coming up on this blue Fiat trying to pass him back after he passed me hitting the wall and turn three on the or turn one on the last lap. I think it was. Uh, turn one or turn three. I keep <laughs> I keep screwing that up. But we're gonna make a massive run to the inside, and we're gonna get past him. Oh, and we're gonna get spun. Me and the Fiat get together, and we're gonna spin down the turn four. Oh no 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 no! no. Oh man! Oh, we get completely destroyed. I would usually cut this out, but oh, I'm trying to finish this race. Yeah, this car would not have finished the race if uh, this was real life. Get turned around. Hopefully, those guys will slow down for me. Yeah, they, they did not. I was about to say they did, but they did not. Try to block this Fiat behind me. And the Bugatti. Try to keep this position. Try to cut him off. We're gonna get 24 here. We're gonna be in the top 25. Not good. But after we uh, wreck during through turn four, 
Wait anyhow, that'll be the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed that, even though it was kind of kind of stupid there at the end. 